Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be doing my May Base Box BoxyCharm unboxing. I just received this, this is my first day filming coming from Vegas and we had a wonderful trip and I can't wait to show you guys the vlog and everything we did, the places we visited, what I've purchased from there. I visited Sephora, I visited Dollar Tree, so stay tuned. I'm so excited for that, but let's get in this month box and see what we received. So yeah, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. It would mean so much to me and let's get into the box. Oh, I just unsealed it now, so I'm not gonna peek inside. And this month it is purple, the brochure, and it says Super Bloom. And on the back, as you guys know, we have all of the products. So let's dive in and select the first product here. This is a heavy one, and it looks like this, and it's by Milk Dew. It's supposed to be a moisturizing milk toner. Let's see. We need that. Oh, it looks like a milk bottle. I love the pink. It's so pretty. This toner meets moisturizer features, a blend of apricot, kernel oil, soybean extract, and sika extract to deeply hydrate condition and soothe the skin. It's the perfect energy boost needed to revitalize a dull dehydrated skin. And this retails for $34. It also helps remove any last traces of dirt or excess oil that can cause breakouts or irritation on your skin. So this retails for $34. It is very pretty. This is made in Korea and I love, I love Korean brands. Let's open it up and see. I will try see how this works. It has a cap here. Oh yeah, so it has a cap right here. And you peel, take this off, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, so you take that off and then you have that little hole in there. So it looks like a milk moisturizer. And let's, it doesn't have any it's a very light scent type of moisturizing smell, and it's very moisturizing. Hard to tell, but very hydrating. It got sucked into the skin very fast, not oily, not wet. I'm excited to use this, but let's see how we use this. It says pour toner onto your hands or a cotton pad, and you apply to clean, dry skin. Pat gently all over the face and allow it to fully absorb into the skin. This has 120 milliliter and it is made in Korea and it has a 12 month shelf life. So that's a nice product to have. Let's go back into the box. This is by Skin Ink Supplement Bar Serum Glow Filter. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very pretty. I love those colors at the top. And this is, ooh, look at this fancy bottle. This is so pretty. This is a serum glow filter by Skin Ink. Glow up with the world's first skincare makeup serum glow filter. Blending beauty and technology in one bottle, this clever concoction is formulated with rare gold hibiscus extract and Skin Ink's top two best-selling serums, niacinamide and hyaluronic acid to give you a selfie filter in real life. It's perfect for day use and is personalized to your skin tone using light reflective technology that enables external light to bounce off your skin. Now, this also helps reduce the appearance of pores and red skin tone and this retails for $50. This is really pretty. Let's see, this is made in Korea again, another Korean brand. It says use one to two pumps before makeup as primer to brighten your skin, even skin tone and help reduce the appearance of lines. So let's see how this works. So it comes with this cap right here. We remove it and I think we just pump. Okay, let's switch hands. Yes, there you go. So it's quite thick as you can see. It's a very thick consistency and again it has exactly the same 
cream like scent, not strong at all. And this is what it looks like. It is very hydrating and it's not sticky at all. And you don't see those gold pearls into your skin, but it does provide a very nice illuminating glow to the hand, as you can see. It looks very pretty. I want to see, I can't wait to use this as my primer. So I love it. I love it. I love those beads, those pearlescent. They're kind of like beads inside they're not glowy glitter or anything they just look like beads let me bring it up close so i can show you guys that's what it looks like up close they're very interesting i'm excited and this retails for 50 dollars okay let's go into the box this is by v cosmetic a liquid velvet lipstick this is what the packaging looks like okay and this is a creamy liquid lipstick this is what it looks like it's quite pink very close to what i'm wearing right now right now i'm wearing the dior lip glow unlike any other lip color you've ever seen this liquid velvet lipstick is the product you need to add to your makeup kit it's formulated to be creamy lightweight and long wearing make a unique statement with your fashion forward vibe this retails for 22 dollars and this is a new brand to boxy so let's see what this one looks like Ooh, it is very velvety exactly what the description says and we can add this to the lips again this is with no lip liner at all i'm actually loving it it is not transferring to the teeth it is not drying on the lips and it has a very nice punch of color let me see how this gets removed Okay, so it gets removed very easily with just water and it feels very comfortable on the lips. It's not drying and like the description says, it's very velvety and it's already dried up on my lips and the lips don't feel crusty or drying or anything like that. It's very pretty. Okay, so this retails for $22. I love it. I like how the lipstick looks like on the lips. I love the shade. Now, the next product in here, which is very, very light, this is skin on skin beauty sponge so this is what the packaging looks like and this is by yensa never heard of it this is made in china this is uh, a beauty sponge is crafted with an angled and pointed edges to perfectly fit your contours of your skin and this is a sponge that gives you a full coverage but skin like finish it's a multi-purpose and reusable with a gentle wash after use it is gentle on the skin and it retails for $18 so this is what the sponge looks like very similar to my morphe one this is my morphe one right now you can see it's very similar it is soft so we'll see when we wet it how it becomes but yeah it's just a sponge and this retails for $18 I rather probably buy a beauty blender instead of this for $18 but if I got it in my box then I'm happy and I think we're coming down to the last product and I think this is the product of my choice and this is an item beauty product. This is the Air Hug Concealer. I'm excited to have this. This is made in USA. This is the Item Beauty by Addison Ray. When you need to course correct, this medium to full coverage concealer is the way to go. This lightweight formula features Carica Papaya Fruit Extract to deliver a boost of yummy antioxidants like vitamin C and lends a smooth, seamless finish. It melts into your skin without a crease inside. This retails for $18. I got mine in the shade 200. I really hope that's not too dark, but if it is, then I will use it as a foundation if it's too dark for underneath the eye area. But look, look how beautiful this looks. It looks like those, I don't know, it looks like a uh, pen with an eraser at the top. And let's see the shade. The full applicator is a straight one with a little bit of slant right there. The shade reminds me of the Kosas. There you go. I think that's a very nice shade. It doesn't have any type of smell. 
Now let's see the coverage. So it's medium to full coverage. So there's the coverage right there. It did provide, it did cover the veins. Look at that. I think the coverage is very nice. And the finish is very hydrating and very soft. And we'll just have to see how it goes underneath the eye area. But so far from what I see, the formula looks very beautiful. So yeah, this was the last product in my box. And you know what? I'm pretty happy with the things I got. So let's recap. So I got the Gloasis Milk Dew Toner or what is it called? Yeah, it's a milk toner. I got a lipstick, I got a nice primer, and I got a sponge, and of course I got the Item Beauty Concealer, which this is probably the most exciting product in my box. I do love the lipstick. You can see that it's still on my lips, and it's very soft, it didn't transfer anywhere. So yeah, those are the products that I got in this month box. Now, let me add everything up. Let's see here. Okay, so the total value of my box is of $142. That's a very good price and I need all these items in my life. So I'm happy to have this. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. So let me know down below what was your most favorite product in today's box. Like I said, mine is the concealer. I love complexion products, but I'm also very happy with the, this primer. I'm also happy with this lipstick. I do have a lot of lipsticks in my collections but this is very velvety and very soft and it's just not not transferring or not like drying up and disappearing here in the middle and collecting at the line it's just beautiful and I don't have a lip liner so yeah and this I also need so I'm very excited for everything would love to hear your thoughts down below so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe it would mean so much to me I wish you all a wonderful day always remember to be yourself and I cannot wait to see you in my next one love you guys bye